Casa Gold's Los Andes project in Nicaragua is located in the gold belt that runs through Mexico, Central America, all the way down to South America. All of the yellow dots that you see on this map are gold prospects. And you can see that up in the area of Chihuahua, where our Mexico projects are, there's a very good density of properties. So we look at this and we move down and we look for new places to explore. So we're looking for areas that don't have as many dots, like these in here. And then the question becomes, why aren't there any dots? Is it no exploration or is there nothing there? So the next step that we go to is we look at the geologic map. And in this case, we're looking at Nicaragua with Honduras above it and El Salvador and Costa Rica. And what we see again are all the yellow dots or gold prospects. And there's a lot of them focused in this orange rock unit. We see the same thing in Costa Rica. Lots of gold prospects within this orange rock unit. But as you come into the Nicaragua border, all of a sudden there's very few of these prospects. But the rocks haven't changed. Ore deposits aren't political. There should be something here. Casa Gold has acquired the Los Andes property between B2 Gold's high grade El Limon and La Libertad gold mines. But Los Andes is different geologically. So what is Los Andes? And what do we hope to discover? Los Andes is known as a high sulfidation gold system, which are often very large, low-grade gold deposits. These types of gold systems include some of the largest gold deposits in the world, the gold deposit elephants. How do you find an elephant? First, you look for a big footprint. Most gold deposits in the world have an alteration zone that covers a couple square kilometers. A really big gold mine, like the 33 million Yanacocha gold mine in Peru, has about 35 square kilometers of alteration. Such a large alteration area indicates a lot of gold-bearing hot water passed through those rocks. Our Los Andes property has more than 45 square kilometers of very strong alteration. So our footprint is very big, even larger than Yanacocha. The next thing you look for when hunting elephants are strong concentrations of metals associated with gold, like silver, arsenic, bismuth, selenium, and tellurium. Los Andes has all of these metals. Los Andes alteration zone consists of silicification, alunite, and clay alteration, associated with several large breccia pipes, large fault zones with breccia bodies, and volcanic domes. We are currently mapping the geology and alteration in detail. We are taking thousands of soil and rock chip geochemical samples to discover where the highest concentrations of gold have been deposited. We have seven geologists gathering detailed alteration mineralogy data and mapping the geologic details controlling the alteration. We will complete geophysical surveys over the target area in the fall to further define our specific drill targets. Currently, we have identified eight alteration hotspots as the potential feeders or sources of the hot water that deposited the gold in the rocks. Geologically, we have learned a lot at Los Andes. We have expanded our regional exploration and acquisition program based on our successes at Los Andes. We have filed mineral claims covering more than 130,000 hectares and have discovered at least nine confirmed high sulfidation alteration systems. We are mapping and sampling these areas to identify where we can best focus our exploration. We're very excited with the success we've had at Los Andes and our overall exploration program in Nicaragua. What we've found is a very large alteration system at Los Andes, shown by this yellow outline. We've taken what we learned at Los Andes and we've moved out into the district. And we've identified nine alteration systems in total. Each one is very similar in size and geochemistry and alteration style to Los Andes. And they're all very similar to what Yanacocha has. We don't think we have nine Yanacocha discoveries. But we're hoping for at least one-tenth of one Yanacocha out of these projects to come together.